my friends, the great gift of your applause is not for me. No. It is for yourselves. I came today because of the craving. That the old ways serve us no longer. You came today because you crave something new. Something different. It is said that I hate the no magic. The magus. Magic blooms only in rare souls. Yo, what's up and welcome back. Today we are looking at something I've been looking forward to for a little while now. I'm a big fan of all the Harry Potter movies, the whole franchise, the Fantastic Beasts, and this this uh, luggage, this magical suitcase resembles uh, almost almost the suitcase that you'd see in Fantastic Beasts. This is an escape room inspired by that very movie, as you can probably tell by the intro. So before we get into this, go ahead and like this video. Okay, now that you've done that, subscribe and let's get into it. Further ado, we got one lock right here. Okay, because we got these that come undone. How does this one open? Oh, there we go. No? This goes up and down. Oh wait, it goes side to side too. Oh, it's a combination lock. Okay. We're looking for clues. We're looking for clue. There's an R here. Oh. States of America, New York City. I'm looking at the little stickers to see if I can find any any clue. I don't think the stickers have to do with anything. There's nothing under. Okay, so what's the uh, what's the combination of this? We gotta get in here. We got like a red S here. That's gotta be here. I'm sure it's here. Oh, turns, turns, looking for words, hits, start, maybe another word here somewhere, turns, start, turns, the, I really don't know, I mean, that doesn't, can't spell south like that, oh, turns west, all right, start, north, east, West, north, east, west, start north, east, west, east, south. Let's try that. North, uh, east, west, east, south. Yeah! Woo, okay, that took a little longer than I thought it would. But we're in. You ready for this? Oh, cool. Okay, so we got some type of labyrinth up here uh, with this thing. This is cool. Uh, we've got a cog wheel with a Hogwarts emblem on it. And this, I'm guessing, I guess that's right. <laughs> that's really cool. I love the, uh, I love that that it's interactive and as soon as I do something, it makes noise. What's this? Escarbato. Oh, it's a little magical creature. And it looks like it's got lines on it. Maybe the lines have something to do with something, maybe a path somewhere. We also got this. We got a combination lock here. We got a lock here. This looks like it needs to be lock picked, by the way. I, I recognize this. These are uh, these are locks that are used for practicing lock picking. And we have another combination here, and then we have this here. And we got these. Okay, 
So for now, okay, that symbol was on that cog, by the way. Let's start with this. Let's start here. Okay, this is a maze here, right? So we wanna, we wanna get through the, uh, the maze. Uh, comes down here, this goes here, this goes here. And down here, up here, uh, yep, this way. Actually, yep. Boom. What have we here? What is this thing? I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe here? Okay, <laughs> I guess we'll just, this thing vibrates like crazy. I guess we'll just leave that on there for now. Really is, uh, is there any other clue? Are we given any other clue? What's on the back of this maybe? Is that something? Escarbato. What is this guy and what does he want? Hmm. Wait, this one here, okay, that one just doesn't come out. Huh. I'll just leave that here. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing. Okay. So we had this symbol, we have the nine and three quarters that was on the box. Very intriguing. It goes this, no. Okay, we know that this goes there, right? We put this back in there and find a different, uh, maybe a different path or something. No, nothing else really does anything. Okay. Gotta be something. If I could find some lock picks, I could definitely open this. That doesn't open either. Hmm. So the only clue that we really have is this Escarbato fella over here. This guy. And the lines look like they're doing something. Lines look like oh, you know what? Maybe you gotta like fold it in a way that gives you a number. I think. Because it looks like they, there's like pieces of numbers, right? Does that make sense? That's like... You guys see what I mean? There's got to be a way to fold this. Like here, huh? You see how that lines up, sort of? Maybe? That's not a bad idea. Oh wait, there is a number here. Wait, is that 07? Feels like that's a number. Ah, see this line here on the back of it is like drawn on the back of it. It's not even drawn on this side where this, these ones are drawn on the front of it. So that tells me there's a fold there somewhere. 
like I fold this like this which then becomes part of this line here. That's actually, actually looks like it might work. Okay, that becomes part of that line there. Fold it on that line, good. Um, oh, now we gotta fold this one over here and watch these lines connect. That's actually working out here. These lines are connecting, good. Okay. Now maybe this line folds, or this one, this one, this one, this one. This is the folded line, ah, which connects this line. <gasps> We're getting a number. And then this one folded, wow, how cool is that? That's actually really cool. Boom. Okay. That goes here. That's a four. That might be a two. Yeah. See if that goes there. That's a two. Wow. How cool is that? that I've never seen something like that. That's a two. That's a four. And that's a five, five, four, two. Boom, baby, let's go. That's huge, that's probably this here. Five, four, two, yep. Okay, there's a little cauldron in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little cauldron bubbling. And in here, okay. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that just popped open, that is wild. All right, we got these keys, here we go. We got lock picks, knew we'd have lock picks. We've got another set of keys, so many keys. Whatever these wires are, oh my God, so many of these wires. More lock picks, maybe they're all part of the lock picking kit. And, We've got what looks to be a magic wand that also has a key inside of it. Okay. The hell did I just do? Ah. Let's get these aside here. So many, so many items. So looks like the magic wand. Uh, we got an owl here. We got a, a cauldron. But the first thing we had was the symbol. So we had the Hogwarts symbol, the cauldron, the owl, and there's probably more symbol. Aha, because I already touched it twice. So there's probably more symbols that we have to. That is really cool. And we got a, we got a secret key here as well. That is really, really cool. Ooh, I like this escape game quite a bit. Quite a bit, very, very, very cool. Okay, um, so we got all these keys and we got all these lock picks. I think we're just gonna go ahead and lock pick, give you a little 101 on how to lock pick here. Uh, we need one that's gonna act as an anchor and one that's gonna be a rake. And I think the rake looks like this. As you can see, it has like a little, little rake on the end of it. Cause we need one, a tension rod, like one that keeps the tension on. Got it. Woo! Need to use it anymore. My goodness. Good thing this wasn't an actual heist or something. What's in here? Oh, great. <laughs> More keys. Oh, but we have one of these little buttons. Um, also, on this side, there's like a slot here. I don't know 
a little slot on the side. Maybe just for the lock or something. Yeah. Now we're looking for a combination for this bad boy, right? That's the next step. And we have one, two, three sets of keys here without a lock in which to put the keys in. We're gonna need some type of combination here. And they didn't give us a little picture on this one. No picture? There's a number here, it says 861. Oh, it says 861 on this key. I don't really feel like that's a combination to that. 861, this says 818. Oh yeah, I think those are just random numbers for the keys, 849. And there's a magnet here. Pretty strong magnet actually. Wait, there's a magnet here. Oh, there's a hat. There's a hat under this one. Okay. So we had, hold on, we had the crest. The owl. The cauldron. The hat. Nine and three quarters. So we're missing one symbol. We had the nine and three quarters on the box. So I don't think that, cause the nine and three quarters was on the box here, right here. But that's gotta be part of it. That's gotta be part of it. Cause it's, it's written the exact same way. I definitely think it's part of it. So maybe we just got the order mixed up. Nine and three quarters. Yes. Let's go. Oh, there goes the keys and this goes here. Mirror, mirror on the wall. We have a mirror in a box. That didn't rhyme, but that's okay. Okay. So. Yes. One. Where are my keys at? Two. Don't know why there's so many keys. Three. And four. Okay, they're all unlocked. They're all unlocked. But now what? Now we have a mirror. What the hell is going on? What do we need a mirror for? We have nothing left. Okay, yes we do. We have a box here. We got a box here. We got one of these things left. Everything else has been used. Does the order in which the keys open make a difference? Does the order in which the keys open make a difference? I'm looking for hints uh, for this keys and I believe there might be a sequence here. Uh, I don't know what the sequence is, but these keys definitely have a sequence I'm looking for. Looking for something, number 906. There's numbers on the keys, I don't think that matters. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if that's, I, that might just be a coincidence, honestly. That's written on the key. Hmm. Yeah. Ah! What about this? Right here. Have you guys been staring at that the whole time, by the way? Is that why you guys get so angry at me in the comments? Because you're seeing things that I'm not seeing? Like, you guys are getting a whole vision on everything. I'm looking at like, this is my vision right now, doing this. That's what I'm seeing right now. When you're looking at things, you look at things like this. You don't see everything all at once. Like I'm not a chameleon with the eyes and the sides of my head. It's just, you know what I mean? So you guys might've seen this earlier, shouting it out. Good for you, good find. Actually good for you. So what that means is, I mean, that's pretty simple. That's gonna go there. Okay, now what? Oh! Can you guys see that in there? 37, 27, 25. 
Oh, 25, 27, 37. 37. Yeah! What's in here? Ah, the final puck. Saved our little beast friend. Wait, is he stuck there? There we go. We've saved our little beast friend, but he looks like he's uh, stuck in a hole down there. So we're gonna leave him there. But that is the end of this, dude. This was so cool. No lie, like this mirror bit actually like freaked me out for a second. It's like a one-way mirror. Had some really cool elements. The wand waving was really dope. Keys were okay. All in all. So much fun and definitely fun for uh, anyone who's a Harry Potter fan. I think this is a really, really cool game. What do you guys think? Leave a comment, leave a like below if you did enjoy this. Uh, maybe tag a friend that you'd uh, solve this with. I don't know. Time to clean this up. We've solved the mystery over here at Hogwarts. Guys, uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.